Hey guys, what's up? Um, so I bought an access point on uh, eBay the other day, uh, pretty cheap, and it's a, uh, you can see that, but it's a Cisco uh, Air LAP1131AG, and I guess I did, I forgot uh, to even look, but I guess, I, you know, I, I've, done, I've set up lightweight access points before, uh, or access points and lightweight protocol before. Um, but I, I totally didn't even look at his space, I just bought it, and, uh, so this thing was in lightweight, uh, mode, or LAP mode, and, uh, you need a wireless controller to be able to control that, but I'm actually going to be putting this into a small business, and, uh, I wanted to, I need to convert it back to the, uh, or I, I've already converted it, but you need to convert it back into the, uh, autonomous mode, you know, which is like a true access point that controls itself, so... Um, I've already actually done the, the, the conversion, so let me show you real quick. Um, as you can see, um, I'm actually in AP mode. So there's a couple different things you're going to need. Um, first, you will need to get the file from Cisco. And for me, uh, I was able to download the file or find it on the internet, either or. So it came uh, labeled as this right there, if you can see it. This is what it came as. But then you need to rename it to this this file. Well, depending on what your access point is, the memory might be different. But after this dot tar, right there, you need to actually rename it to default. Because when the when, when you put this thing into recovery mode, it's going to do a TFTP uh, request, and then it's going to look for that, that specific file. That's like the default file name for this access point. So uh, once you get the file situated, you'll need a TFTP server. I'm running Solar Winds. And you can see as I, I've already actually done the upgrade, um, and it worked for me, so kind of a bitch trying to get all the information together on the internet to make this work, but okay, so let's go back to the networking configuration. So we get, if you, once you have the file set up, you have your, your, your solar winds running, and you have your right files in the TFTP root directory of solar ones, you need to go into your network interface. And go to properties and TCP version four. Okay, and then you need to make it 10.0.0.2 uh, because by default, when you put the thing in recovery mode, the access point, it's going to go into 10.0.0.1, and it's going to do like a, T, a TFTP like broadcast and look for a TFTP server, and that's what it finds. So always make sure it's for to make this work correctly and with no hassle. Let's make sure it's 10.0.0.2. Okay, so now so that thing will boot up um, so once you have all the files correct the TFTP server running and the, the network configured um, I don't know if I can sh I'll try doing this again so you guys can see because it might not do that because I'm already out of lightweight access mode so but this might or might not work because of our, it's I mean, I run the possibility of jacking this thing up, but let's see. So I'm going to get a pin. There's a little mode button right there, recovery button right there. I'm going to hold that down before I plug in the PoE switch. I'm going to hold this down until I see a red light there. Kids in the background. It's hard to see. There we go. So the red light's on. Or if you can see that, I'm going to let go of it. Like I said, this might or might not work. I need to actually turn on my wireless here. All right. So it's going to actually, so we, as you see in front of you, it basically, uh, let me get a TFTP server going here. So it, okay. So basically it fired up. It did this right here where you see it, it says image recovery download. And then it's looking for that file. Boom, it's actually, uh, it's picking the file up from here, as you can see, and it's going to download this and it's going to overwrite your flash. So, as you can see in this picture, it says process config recovery, and it automatically sets the interface IP address to 10.0.0.1. And right now, like I said, it just picks up, it will do a broadcast on the TFTP server, 
And uh, that's why you see this four two five five fives. Um, and it picked up the file. As long as you have the file name the right file name, which was that this default file for my access point, it was C one one three zero dash K nine W seven dash R dot default. As long as that's in the TFTP server directory, it'll automatically pick it up and start flashing it. So, okay, extracting. So when this is done, it's going to uh, reboot the access point again, and then when we're done with it, like in the beginning of this video, you can see that it will say AP at the command prompt. So before it, it was actually lightweight, lightweight access mode, and I couldn't even like do anything with it. You know, I mean, they had like no, I, I didn't even know the password. Like it was password locked. I couldn't get into it. And I couldn't even actually like do a control break to like get into it, right? like normally how you would do with a switch or a router. You couldn't even get it that way either. So, um, so yeah, you can get these super cheap, you know, on, on eBay, just because people don't want to deal with the converting these things or too much of a pain in the ass. I'm not sure, but I did it by mistake. I mean, I wouldn't have actually if I would have known this thing was in lightweight access mode, I wouldn't have bought it. So I'm only fixing it because I uh, I've already bought it. So. Okay, so it didn't really do the full, the full upgrade. But normally that's because because it already saw the files actually on the, in the flash. But normally what it would do is um, it would erase your flash and copy, it, it would, uh, extract the tar file, and load the actual uh, files on the uh, flash, flash memory there. So, all right. So I think I need some coffee, man. I'm out of it. <laughs> so I've been messing with this for like two hours straight trying to figure it out. I mean, actually maybe three hours. I don't know. So I'm glad I figured it out. So now I can uh, use it. All right, let's see. And just a little to go. And okay. Uh, okay. There we go. See. All done. Now I can actually log into the command the command prompt terminal, and that's it. It's a long certificate. All right, guys, that was it, man. So, um, all right, cool. So, uh, actually, this time it seemed like it erased the configuration. So, I might extract the default configuration out of this uh, this tar file. Like before, the first time I did it, it actually didn't have. It just went into AP. So, there must be some sort of default image here. So, I'm gonna do that again. All right, guys. So that's it. So, let me know if you have any questions about it, but. Wasn't too difficult, so I mean, once you had, like I said, it took me a few hours to figure it out and test it, but not work, so all good. All right, guys, back here. So um, this is actually how it's supposed to look. So as you can see, it actually is an error in lightweight lightweight access mode. So error LAP that means lightweight access mode. Um, and you can see now it's an AP, so I can do a quick enable enable. Uppercase C with, or Cisco with uppercase C, the default password, and do show run. Yeah, that was weird. I was getting all those, uh, like the networking keys. So that's it. This thing was only uh, 20 bucks on eBay. So now I have a wireless A and G access point. So awesome, awesome. Cool.